tolerance is accepting someone before they walk through the door. No matter what their background, their religion, their lifestyle. It's about accepting people for who they are as individuals. Their culture, their family, their traditions. Tolerance is celebrating the diversity that makes us great. Tolerance. Honor the differences. Picture a world of respect. Visit tolerance.org to learn more. I'm Kate. I'm Abong. I'm Marlene. And today we're dishing with you from Hook. Hook is located at 3241 M Street, Northwest. And doesn't that beet salad look scrumptious? Hasn't missed a beat, sorry. <laughs> I, I had to. A beat. And today our beautiful guest is Sophie Lamontagne from Georgetown Cupcake. Thanks so much for having me. Thanks for joining Thank us. You. We're here, we're talking about fish a little bit, but what we really want is dessert. And the reason we really want dessert is because no one can resist your cupcakes. Oh, thank no you. No one. I mean, they have been, you've been all over the place. You've been talking about them um, on every talk show around, now including ours. They're in style. They're rivaling, you know, Magnolia in New York, Sprinkle. We're talking about that a little bit more later. But how did you come up with this concept? Well, my sister and I love baking growing up. We baked their grandmother, and we always had this dream of opening a bakery together. It was kind of a silly little dream we had. And we both went off on our separate career paths. And then a couple years ago, we said, you know, if we don't do this now, we're just never going to do it. So we decided, let's just take the plunge. And Catherine quit her job. Um, she used to work for Gucci. I worked in venture capital. And it was hard to quit our job. It's very scary to do that, to go after a dream. Um, but it's something that we really believed in. And Initially, we thought we'd have a quiet little bakery. It would just be the two of us. You know, we'd sell you know a couple dozen cupcakes a day, read some magazines, make some lattes. It would be fun. We were tucked off on a quiet little um, street in Georgetown, and we never expected in our wildest dreams that it would take off this quickly. And you know, we're just really thankful. We have fantastic customers. It's been an amazing experience so far. Um, you know, we've had a chance to do cupcakes for all kinds of events all over the city. And you know, we're just really thankful that things turned out this way. Yeah, taking taking off is actually an understatement because <laughs> you no, think? It, it, it's, it's an understatement bit. completely. Because every time I drive by, it doesn't matter rain nor sleet nor shine like the mail like the mailman. There are people lined up down the street off of Potomac. It's it, and I'm, I'm like, and the first time I saw it was like maybe a few years ago. I was like, this, why? What really? And so one day I went. And I was with uh, I was with uh, with someone, she, and she said, let's go get some cupcakes. So I went over to get some cupcakes, and after after that after that time, I I, I got it. And the biggest thing I, I want I want to say about this is that you guys are providing an experience that's different than you kids. Like I said, you can get cupcakes almost anywhere. I mean, your cupcakes taste amazing, but it's an experience you you guys are providing. Yeah. And I think we really, Catherine and I, really strive for that. It's really important to us that when people go to Georgetown Cupcake, it's a really memorable experience when they come in. You know, from the, or from the moment they pick up the phone and talk to someone at our shop, you know, to the moment they get home and open the box, that it's something special and it's something that they'll share with their friends and family members and kind of spread the word. And you're right, you can get cupcakes anywhere and, you know, we bake our cupcakes fresh and use the best ingredients. But I think it's something more than that. It's about creating a really special environment that people remember. Like the Tiffany's of cupcakes. Yeah, let's yeah. talk about that yeah. little pink box, you know. <laughs> it kind of does remind me of Tiffany's yeah. because you're very distinctive. Yeah. People know that came from Georgetown yeah. Cupcake it's and fun. I want one. Yeah, yeah. And it's funny because the pink box is actually an accident. When we first opened, oh. we opened on Valentine's Day 2008 and we got pink boxes for the first day so that wouldn't we need to have pink boxes on Valentine's Day. And after Valentine's Day, we still had some pink boxes left, and so we were slowly phasing them out and, you know, using our regular white ones. And then people kept asking, actually, can I have the pink box instead? Oh. And even men kept asking <laughs> for it, and we're like, people really like the pink box. And so now it's actually become kind of our trademark, you know, it's a, one of our signature, um, you know, marks in identifying Georgetown Cupcake. Speaking of signature, do you have a favorite? Because I have a favorite. I'm sure you have a favorite. Uh, Chaka and Chaka Ganache. I like yeah, that one. Ooh, that's that my favorite. That actually won the Washington Post Cupcake Wars. Um, my personal favorite is the chocolate hazelnut. That's the chocolate ganache, but it's dipped in caramelized hazelnut. I gained. I just gained 10 pounds from hearing this. <laughs> 10 pounds. Now you're here. Now you were saying you might have an alcohol infused cupcake eventually. We or? do have a chocolate eggnog, which is a little bit of rum in okay. it, um, which is very Yum. good. Um, and we have done a strawberries and um, champagne cupcake before too for special events. Very nice. So you have some big news because not only have you opened outside of Georgetown, mm -hmm. but you're opening a new location in Georgetown. That's so you've grown so big that you yeah. need multiple locations and 
People can buy them online. Yes, that's right. Yeah. We've started national shipping, so you can ship your cupcakes anywhere in the U.S. Mm -hmm. um, wow. Overnight, um, nice. we have a lot of different options for people, and it's been, um, you know, we've been really thrilled with the response to the shipping. Um, we get such great feedback from our customers, and that's one of the, you know, most, you know, fun things to read emails from customers saying, "I ship my cupcakes to my relatives mm -hmm. in Minnesota, and they love them." And it's just so like. The experience is transferable. Mm -hmm. Like you yeah. want, I mean, it doesn't matter whether it's like I said, the Tiffany's of cupcakes. I'm going to call them. Yeah. I coined it first. <laughs> the Tiffany's of cupcakes. You heard it here. <laughs> but do you do you get a little bit worried about competition? I know you have we have great great customers and everyone loves it. And it is, in addition to a couple of other cupcake places, you know, DC's cupcake mm -hmm. store. Mm -hmm. But you know. Some places outside of DC have started to realize that DC loves their cupcakes, and <laughs> I hear mm -hmm. Sprinkles is coming yeah. to M Street. Yeah. So oh. how do we feel about yeah. that? Um, a lot of cupcake shops are actually opening up. Um, ever since we opened, I think there's about a dozen, and I think yeah. more opening every day. Mm -hmm. And for Catherine and I, we really just try to focus on what we're doing and try to you know do the best we can. Um, you know. I always we get so many emails from people around the country um, saying I've heard your story. I want to open a bakery. It's been my dream. And we always say go for it. If you have a dream, um, you should go for it. And I think you know other cupcake shops, other bakeries are a wonderful thing for the city. And um, you know as long as you know we focus on our product and making the best we can, um, you know that's all we can do. But um, you know we love sweets, and I think it's really great that a lot of people are going after their dreams. And you know cupcake shops are expanding. Besides cupcake shops, just bakeries in general are expanding. Yeah. You're smiling when you when you say all that. So I mean, that's, yeah. that's so cool. It shows that you're passionate about what you're so doing. Well. Yeah. Well, <laughs> oh, that too. You know, I always wonder. They're they're little sweet treats, mm -hmm. but they're really making a huge, huge difference here in the city. Mm -hmm. Not only are you selling a ton of them and have grown a very entrepreneurial business, mm -hmm. but you're giving back so much. Yeah. I mean, they're at every charity fundraiser I go to. There's Georgetown Cupcakes. Yeah, and we try. We that's really one of the most important things to Catherine and me is to give back to the community. Um, we have a partnership with Hope for Henry at um, Georgetown University Hospital and the Children's National Medical Center. We do cupcakes for all the children who are impatient over their birthdays, and we love doing things like that. I think that makes it really special for us. And so we always try to give back. You know, whether it's doing cupcake workshops with children mm -hmm. or donating cupcakes to events, we try to be involved as many ways as we can. So that's so awesome. A future plans for expansion outside of the Greater uh, Washington maybe. region? Maybe, yeah, we're trying. We're gonna um, get through our grand opening tomorrow in Georgetown for a new shop, and then maybe you'll see Georgetown Cupcake. Where? Where city. in Georgetown? Uh, we're at 33rd and Am, right okay. in the corner. Yep, yep, and, yes. um, free cupcakes tomorrow, right? Yep, free cupcakes all day tomorrow from 10 a.m. <laughs> to 9 p.m. to celebrate. <laughs> I'm skipping work. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I mean, I'm not skipping work. I'm, uh, yeah, too sweet for me. I'll be late. <laughs> no, that we're, That's awesome. it's a, it's, it's, you're a sweet gem oh. in the city, and we are so, so excited for your success. Oh, thank you so much. And thank you for taking the time to be here with us, yeah. because Our I pleasure. know you're a hot commodity yeah. these days. <laughs> <laughs> and as always, thank you for joining us here on this episode of The District Dish.